hey thanks for tuning into my channel today so today i've created this purple smoky eye which is perfect for the fall holiday season so i use the tarte palette from the holidays collection to create this look so if you want to see how i created this look then please go too much in the beginning so first we're going to start off with our base already on and i use the nyx jumbo pencil in the color milk and i'm going into that tart palette and the first color that i am going to use is called blush stilettos as my transition color so i'm just going to run that all across the crease and above the crease until i get the desired color payoff that i want so just windshield my wiper motions back and forth blending that transition color this is going to help easy make blending our other colors easier into it so the color i'm taking in the crease to deepen it is called rose such a clatter so i'm going to go back and forth in the crease building up this color building it up adding more color blending it adding color blending it so now i am going to go back into blush stilettos almost just dropped my palette and thought i was going to break it but going back in with that color i'm going to use that transition color to blend out the edges of the purple that we just put in and that's how it should look once color is added and blended next we're going to go in with the color evening affair which is a dark purple and we're going to focus that we're going to focus that on the outer um of our eye the outer third of the eye and also bring it into the crease and just blending in the crease we don't want to blend it too high up so we want to kind of focus it just in the crease and on the outer third of the eye so just blend blend away so in this process i did have to keep going back and forth with um blending the eyeshadow and placing the eyeshadow and so now i'm going to go back in with the color we put in our crease the rose such a clatter to blend out the edges of the evening affair color that we just placed so now i'm taking a fluffier brush and i'm just blending that all together so there are no harsh lines and it just all blends together seamlessly because it's not cute when you're walking around with unblended eyeshadow so next we are going to deepen that outer portion of the eye again and we're also going to take that more into the crease just because i wanted to deepen it some more so do whatever floats your boat and what you like so now we're going to take the color joy to the pearl and place that on our eyelid and just packing that color on it is very shimmery just as it's a pearl color so i wasn't all the way satisfied with that color so i decided to take the color glitzy blitzing and place that over joy to the pearl um, just because I wanted some more, um, it was like a pinky, pinky purpley, browny undertone, if that makes sense. And I just wanted to put that on. I think didn't think the joys of the purple worked so well with that. So now I'm just going back in and blending those colors together. And so now for my brow bone highlight, I'm first going to take blush stilettos and take that all across my brow bone. And then just a second i'm going to take joy to the purple and i am going to place that on the arch and just blend it out so when the light hits it you have that little highlight effect and then i'm also going to take that color in my inner corner of my eye just so my eyes were open and that's how it should look once all the eyeshadow has been placed so now we're going to go in and take our eyeliner and create a wing you don't have to do this step if you don't want to but i have to um so now we're going to take some black eyeliner and we are going to line our water lines and we're also going to bring it down to our lower lash line and we're going to blend that color out with the color evening affair which is that dark purple color that we use that we put in the outer corner to and in our crease but i like to because i like to be intense so I'm going to do that and then I didn't like the brush so I did switch up to blend that out even better. And so now I'm going in with the color row such a clatter to blend out some blend that out some more. So that's how that should look. And now we're going to go in with our mascara. And we're going to prep our eyes for the falsies. 
I don't have any lashes. They're bald headed, so I have to wear falsies. So just coat your bottom lashes and coat your top lashes and get your lash. So now we're going to go in with our Milani lip liner in the color Coco. And now I'm going in with this Revlon color pink. I forget what it's called. I'll list it in the description box below. But I wasn't pleased with just how that lip paid off. So next I'm going to take the color Teddy Bear um, by Milani and try to tone that pink down some and then i still wanted to tone down more so i went in with this nude color and put over top of it and then once i got that i was satisfied with how the lips came out so this is the eye and the lips and i hope you enjoyed and i hope this is something that you found easily that you will be able to create on your own so it's just makeup. You should just try it and play it and have fun. I really like how this look turned out. I can't wait to wear it again. So yeah, so until next time in my next video, please like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you want to see.